system here of the following when we wrap it around the y-axis. And because of that, we need to resolve the equation, or we need to solve this and rearrange it so it's solved for x. So that means x is going to be equal to, or x squared is going to be equal to y plus 1, and then we take the square root, so we have x is equal to the square root of y plus 1. <clears throat> so basically, this is all going down here. Um, so what we this is this is the washer method pi r squared. So we're gonna have pi, and then we're integrating, and then we're going from two here because we're sol we're wrapping this around. It's solved for y minus the square root of y plus one. All right, and we're going from it looks like zero to up here three. We're not using x one to two. We're using y zero to three. That's just something that needs to be made clear. All right, so pi is equal to 0 to 3, and square both of these. It's a nice thing. So we get 4 minus y plus 1. And we can... Oh, you know what? This should be a minus 1. Because the I got rid of the uh, square root, it distributes the minus. So we end up with 3. <clears throat> So go ahead and integrate. So we have pi and then 3y minus y squared over 2 <clears throat> from 0 to 3. And what happens now is we get to pi times, and we have 9 minus 9 over 2, and then just 0. Because <clears throat> everything, well, with these, it just goes to 0. So 9 over 2. And we just end up with 9 minus 9 over 2 is 9 over 2. So we end up with 9 pi over 2. And that's it. Alrighty. I hope this helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.